So I was going to attempt a blowout technique, which probably means nothing to you, but I haven't done it in years, so I figured I'd give it a try live. Because that makes sense. So a blowout, I guess I'll just grab the shit I've prepped and show you. No need to explain without. So I have a clear tube. That's not so much cone anyway, it's really wonky actually. But I puffed it open, opened the front, and fumed it with silver. That's why that's all blue and yellowy and stuff. So I've got this. I've got a plastic because now it's not in the field. And then I prepped this. <laughs> this is double amber purple that I coiled up. So basically I'm going to get this really, really hot, put it into here, and blow it out into the inside of this tube. Wish me luck. Good luck, <laughs> I have not done this in years. It's going to work. It's going to work great. I don't think it's going to fill this whole thing. I think I made it a little bit too big. But I'll blow it out as much as I can. Into there. I don't know if it's going to work. It's been a while. Oh no! I Too hot. I told you that might fail. So you can see it got too hot and it dropped into the side. I might be able to salvage this. Hey there. You came to see me. Fuck that up. Oh, I really want to do a blowout though. So maybe I'll prep another one. I'm going to chop this up, put it in the annealer, and I'll prep another one. Damn. It got too hot. save this and deal with it later. Shoot. I jinxed myself. I said I might fuck it up and I did. Alright, let's do another one that's a little smaller. That's a good plan. <laughs> so this is where my clear tube starts. It's a five foot tube in the beginning and I pull them down as I need them. We're going to go smaller this time. Oh, I'm bummed I fucked that up. Can't have this. How's the quality of the video? Is it pixelated or is it pretty clear right now? this whole clear point and puff it out and open it up like I had that last one that I completely puffed. Okay. So I just got a little clear point ready. Poop! Poop is right! It happens. Trying again. Now you can see how I prepped the whole thing too. I'm 
I'm just going to flare all that open. God, I'm glad I didn't use gold on that last one. That would have been an expensive, seriously expensive mistake. Fume with silver, I'll give it like an even spin. But I want this to have different fuming in different spots. And you shouldn't breathe in that silver when you're fuming the glass. So I got the silver inside. I gotta prep the color that I'm gonna blow out in there. So I'm just gonna pop this in the kiln. I know it's kind of wonky, it doesn't matter because we're doing a blowout. It doesn't actually be perfect just yet. So popping this in the cooler for the kiln, something. And then I'm going to. What color do I wanna use for the blowout? I wanna use that double amber purple again. starts this ambery color and then it'll fume out blue and purple and stuff so let me try that just like this this is the same color isn't that neat I should be able to reuse that later all right coil pot the color and then I'm going to blow a color into that clear tube hopefully <laughs> it's going to work this time So I just grab this cold piece of glass off the table and put it in the flame. Sometimes that'll crack on you, sometimes it doesn't. If it cracks on you, it's not going to typically blow up in your face. It'll just crack down the piece. So I'm just opening the front of this to flare it and start my coil pot. doesn't always work out, but I want this flared as evenly as I can. That wasn't too shabby. And then I'm just going to use this double amber purple and create a tube on it that I can blow out into that clear tube that I feel with silver. Typically when I do a coil pot, I stick a clear rod on the end so I can utilize all of this color. But I don't need the whole rod of color on this piece, so I did not put a clear rod on the end. If you want to use the whole piece, prep it before you use it, that clear rod. So I'm just building a tube of this double amber purple. If you've ever done like a coil pot and ceramic making the snake, it's the same thing. Except with molten glass. Then I get to the end, close her up. And that's a coil pot. So I want to melt this all together. I'll grab that clear tube and hopefully blow it out into that tube. Unlike last time, I fucked it. Okay. I'm 
down this side where the mouthpiece is going to be or should I make a chillum? Maybe I'll make a chillum. I'll see how much glass I have when I cut off all these bubbles. You see those bubbles on the end? I don't want that on the plate. Great technique. Thank you. You must have missed the beginning. <laughs> I fucked it in the beginning. I'm going to see how bad these bubbles are and how much of a piece of glass I have to work with. And then the piece that I don't use with the bubbles on it, I'll use it for, um, it's really not that bad. I can use it for like a marmalade. one bubble that I don't like, so I'm going to pick that out so I can create a small spoon with the glass we do have. So there's double amber purple blown out into a silver fume clear tube. Pretty neat. I'm going to let it cool down though because there's one bubble, that giant one right there. Right there. I don't want that on there, but the rest aren't bad. They make really pretty patterns too, so... I want to use that glass. So to pick the bubble out, I'm just going to get it hot and start pulling it out. I don't do this a lot because I don't do blowouts a lot, but it should work. And eventually, when it gets thin enough, it should want to pop open. Did you pop? I think it went. So I got that bubble. Hard to see, probably. The bubbles popped open. I need to heat every... Oh, well, look at the cool colors quick. <whistles> Gotta get everything hot again, though. Woo! I'm out of the flame too long. The colors are gonna be really, really... Oh, 
I'm trying to melt in everything where that bubble was so I can blow it back out. And then I don't have that dent anymore. I'm just tapering down where the mouthpiece will be. Pull it down. That'll be the mouthpiece. Then I want to like cut it in half where the mouthpiece and then the bowl will be. be a perfect pocket pipe. Perfect pocket pipe. And that's kind of hard, so. So now I've got the center. I'm going to round out the mouthpiece. I flash this. But I will use that extra color for a different project. And then I'm just going to circle with the flame around it. 
And then I'll use a graphite rod to push the bowl. Right before I go to push the ball, I'm going to give it one puff, and that'll solidify the size of the hole I have. I don't want it too big or too small or to change size when I go to push it. Oh, gosh, that was nice. That was good. So there's some diversification from the cold graphite, so just blast that out, and then I'll re-push the bowl, just to make it perfect again, perfect, and then perfect. Alright, now I can flatten the bottom. The colors are so pretty. <laughs> I can't wait to take a video of this tomorrow. Hopefully it doesn't crack. Sometimes well it's crack in the annealer, so no promises. That's why I stopped making them. I stopped making them because I lose like half of them in the annealing process, but maybe maybe this will work better. I've never done it with double amber purple. So I'm just gonna get the bottom hot. I'm dragging it back to the edge of the table. I'll show you in a second. Because this is kind of wide on the bottom, and I want to make sure this is in contact when I'm pushing this. Not this. This is not a part of the piece. So the mouthpiece should be resting when you go push the bottom of the piece down. So it fits nice later. I'm going to hit the side where I want the choke on the left side. Make a little mountain with that. And then I'll puff that out with three. I got glass in my mouth. I'm just gonna make it round and flat. Flat. Round. dots or anything on there because it's maybe if I have an opal I might stick it on the side actually because it's very opalescent -y. making up words now so I'm gonna pop this in the annealer after I inspect it really quick oh it's pretty one more time see the galaxy this <laughs> Alright, I might add an opal to that, I might not, but I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, peace and love, I'll see you soon.